hello guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial from this video onwards we are going to learn about how to place dialogues in your android app the recommended way of display dialog is by using a dialog fragment so if you're using dialog fragment it will effectively handle dialog life cycle events such as user press the back button or the uh, device orientation changes etc <coughs> So here I am going to create a simple dialog using dialog fragment. So I am going to create a separate class for the dialog fragment. Here I name it as fire missile fragment. And this class needs to extends <coughs> dialog fragment. And here you can see two dialog fragments are available. First one is a dialog fragment with the Android framework and second one is the dialog fragment with the support library this is because the dialog fragment is available from android version 3.0 and above if your app support android version lower than 3.0 you can use the support library version of dialog fragment otherwise you can direct dialog fragment anyway here i am going to use the support library version of dialog fragment So now for creating the dialog, here I am going to override one of lifecycle method of dialog fragment. Here I am going to override the onCreate dialog method. From this method, we have to return an object of dialog. So here I am going to create an object of alert dialog builder object. By using the builder object, we can create the dialog. So alert dialog dot builder new builder uh, here uh, we have to pass the context this is a fragment so I pass get activity so now we can specify the properties of the dialog using this builder object you can set title you can set message you can set buttons etc you can set title by calling the set title method you can set message by calling the set message button set message method but these methods are optional. Anyway, here I am going to set some message on the dialog. Uh, set message. Fire missile. Okay. So in a dialog, you can add up to three buttons. A positive button, a negative button, and a neutral button. So here in this example, I am going to add two buttons to this dialog. A positive and negative button. So for setting positive button you have to call the method called the set positive button here the first parameter is the label of the button here i specify the label as fire second parameter is the click listener for the button so here i use an interface from dialog interface and override a method called on click so when user click the positive button this method will invoke now I am going to add some negative button for the dialog. So for setting negative button, you can call the set negative button method. Here also the same thing. First parameter is the label for the button. So here I specify the label as cancel. Now specify the even listener. Okay. So now the dialog is ready, builder is ready. Now we need to return an object of dialog from this method. For that you have to call the create method on the builder object. So builder.create. Okay. So now here we can display some message when user click the positive and negative buttons. I fired okay so display some message on the negative button also operation cancelled okay so now the 
dialog is ready now you can display the dialog by creating an object of this class and you have to call the show method on that object so here we have the <coughs> click method of the button on click method for the button so from this method here i am going to display the dialog so first create an object of the class now you have to call the show method so this method need at least two parameter first one is a fragment support fragment manager and second one is a tag for the fragment transaction so here i pass the support fragment manager now the second parameter is a string for the fragment transaction Missile dialog. Okay. So now we can test the project. So I run the project. Okay. Now the project available on this virtual device. Now display the dialog. So here we have a symbol dialog. This is the message, and we have two buttons: a positive button and a negative button. So first I select the positive button. Now display the dialog again. Now select the negative button. So this is how we create a symbol alert dialog using dialog fragment. I hope you understand this concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.